appoint APC loyalists as ministers. APC stalwart urges Tinubu. Interesting. A stalwart of the APC, uh, Buki Okangwe, has appealed to President Bola Tinubu to consider the appointment of party loyalists uh, who worked for his victory as priority when appointing his cabinet. His cabinet. Hmm, of course. This was um, even as she congratulated, I think she's also speaking for herself. It, um, it's very obvious to see. This was even as she congratulated Tinubu on his emergence as the new chairman of ECOWAS. On Sunday, the national coordinator of National Progressive Hub made the call in a statement issued in Abuja on Tuesday. The development is coming as is coming on the heel of Tinubu's election as the sixty third ordinary session of the authority of heads and governance of ECOWAS. Interesting. She said, your emergence as the new chairman of ECOWAS is a confirmation of capacity, competence, exemplary leadership, and experience which transcends the shore of Nigeria. Wow. As in, you know, when people want something from you, they would really, they would really tell you everything that you are, you are not. As in, even yourself, you'd be shocked that, ah, is it me? Because, I mean, this lady, you can definitely say, like, auntie, just, you know, just be honest and say that, oh, by the way, oh, you know, I'm very good at this, you know, come and give your girl a position, you know, I helped you. Um, so, you know, in a point, and, and this is why people then lobby, you know, you, you see, there's no process, Tinubu just gets to pick. So, you know, whatever his preference is, he will pick. What a shame. Interesting. Um, and obviously, she now ends with a prayer. She she says, we pray that you'll reign. He's a king. <laughs> She said, we pray that your reign shall bring more economic, political, social stability and prosperity to the region of West Africa and the continent at large. Listen, obviously, the political party as a platform is obviously what she's riding on. Um, you know, it's very, it's better to be honest and just literally be honest and just be honest. I say that you want a position as well because, you know. If she's saying, you know, prioritize those that help you, it's not even prioritize APC members. Prioritize the APC loyalists that help you win the that helped you to win the election. That's what she's saying. And would Tinubu have a choice in this case? But to do that, you know, even with the whole um you know Muslim celebration that just happened not too recently, but um, you know, individuals um went to Tinubu's accommodation in Lagos and found that he wasn't there, <laughs> that he had moved. Um so, you know, there were obviously comments saying that okay, those that really want the appointments are going to visit him, you know, but it just be nice for this individual to be honest and just say, you know, her reason for um communicating with him. Like it doesn't take anything for it to just be like, listen, you know, even me myself, I want a position. Anyways, um, and another interesting point that she also made, uh, she said that, um, you know, he should use this medium to, imp- she's going to use this medium to employ him uh, to make his cabinet a reflection of dedicated, committed and hardworking party faithful um, who worked and sacrificed for the victory of the APC in the last presidential election so to us that's to her people and those that want the position to them it it will go a long way in affirming the principle of fairness that he's known for and putting an end to the poor reward system our great party has been battling with over time so she's basically come to tell us that you know what there are a lot of people who work and give their give their everything to the to basically the office and the political party, but they don't, they don't get rewarded. And basically that's the point that she's trying to highlight that, you know, the party has struggled with, you know, rewarding those that are doing the work. Please help, 
you know, show that that cannot continue. So again, it's like, you know, she's fighting, I guess, for the rights and hopefully the emergence of herself and others who basically are APC loyalists that helped him, you know, win the election. Well, we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, so put what you think about it in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.